welcome to our Hello journey. Hello and welcome to our journey. So today we're going to be telling you guys 10 things that have been different since we've gotten married and been living together alone for seven months. Let's just jump into it. So the first thing on our list, on our top 10 list, I shouldn't say top 10 because these are just, they're random. Just the, the 10 things that are different. Number one, this is like one of I struggle with is trying to figure out what to eat every day. <laughs> I'm like, hey, Brio, what do you want for dinner? And she says, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, you're the pregnant one. What do you want? She's like, I don't know. I'm like, okay, well, ask the baby. What does she want? And she's like, but I don't know. Like back at mom's house. Oh, mom, what are we eating for dinner? Oh, we're eating this. Okay, great, wonderful. Or not even ask. Like, not even ask. Like, like you just had dinner. Like, now we got to think about that. <laughs> anyway. Which I know just gets even harder when you have a bigger family and you have, like, mm -hmm. more people to feed because you have yeah. to think about everyone yeah. and what they like. The next one is something that I... Mm -hmm, is how many dishes there are. When you have like more people, like it makes sense that there's like a lot of dishes, right? And you go around and take turns. While here, I have just been shocked at by how many dishes we, yeah. there are just for two people living in my dad, a tiny home that really we don't have like a lot of dishes. No, it's just like, I mean, I feel like any anybody, when you cook dinner yeah. and then you eat dinner, you don't want to do the dishes right after. Yeah, Carson works like evenings. Um, so we're eating dinner at like, Nine ten o'clock. Yeah. Nine thirty ten o'clock. So no, we don't want to do the dishes after. We just put all the pots in the pan, and then when we wake up in the morning, we're like, still don't feel like doing it. <laughs> why does it look like that? How did you get like that? Right. I just did it yesterday. Right, right. I've just been shocked by just two people. Yeah. We intentionally did not put the sink in shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not bad, but there's like one pot sticking out. But keep in mind, we have like, I think it's like a 30 by 30 sink. Yeah, we have a small it's sink. It's a small sink because it's a tiny home. Number three, who does what chores? I don't really have a big issue with that all the time. Because as long as she does the clothes. <laughs> yeah, that's literally. I, that's really the only like, thing. The thing is, like, you have to figure out, okay, like, who's going to do what? Yeah. Sometimes we compromise. Since you cooked, I'll do the dishes. But the only whatever. one thing that's not compromised ever is that Carson will not do the clothes at all. He never did, even I, before me. I he don't. He does not do his clothes. Well, he washes. No, them, I'll wash them, but I he don't won't fold, fold clothes. Them. He won't put them away. He won't hang them clothes. That's the one thing. It's he also does thing. not clean the bathroom. I don't, I mean, like, I clean the sink up, and I clean, like, in the bathroom, but no, I'm not, I don't, um, it's not that I'm not. He's not going like, clean the tub and the toilet. Well, it, I, you saying I'm not is kind of like, I will if, like, you need me to, obviously. I, okay, but, anything, even the clothes. Like, yeah, yes. I'm like, I need you to. But, like, okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. Like, but I'm saying two I things that, like, I it. really, like, just do not want to do, like, at all, that she just kind of does. Toilet, clothes. Yes. Number four, I'm just going to tell you, it's living alone. So I say that because living in a, in a house where you have your mom, your dad, your siblings, all that kind of stuff, mainly your parents, right? You kind of feel protected in a sense, right? Like, oh, my parents are here. If something, God forbid, but if something happens, like they'll know what to do, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, now like you're that person. Like me and Brielle are like sleeping and I'm like, God forbid, but like, what if somebody tries to break in or like something happens? It's like, or like you hear random, noises. or you hear noises, and you're like, "Wait, I'm I'm the man of the house. What 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 am I supposed to do?" <laughs> and I'm just like, "Oh gosh." From my point of view, it's like he works late at night. Not like that's Carson is like opposite. Like he doesn't work during the day, come home in the evening. He's here during the day, goes to work in the evening. So for me, have like I am like in this like little house alone. And then, yeah, if I hear noises when it's dark. or I see anything <laughs> no. or whatever, then, like, yeah, that part is weird because usually I would be used to having people in the house always, even if mm -hmm. he was gone, but now it's just me. But we do want to say, like, we have, like, ring cameras and everything. Yeah, we have so, ring like, cameras and then we have um, certain... Yeah, we have, we have like, security. So yeah, it's, it's like... Security. So that's why it's it's not as you know freaky, but still, I mean, it is still something to think about because, no, because you know you don't have anybody else. Right, that's kind of more my thing. Is like you know if something was happening, you have more people. With this, it's just like Mr. Number five is I 
put the weird freedom mm -hmm. because it's like weird to have this like place by yourself just with this like one other person and then you can like just do whatever do whatever you want like, like, there's no rules no there's no <laughs> there's no rules or like there's no one else around where you have to yeah. like watch what you're doing or like you don't want to be too loud or you don't want to do certain things right. or you know just that weird like best example yeah okay we can like we have like a an echo thing right there like an alexa or whatever we can just be like hey play justin yeah. bieber or like hey play yeah. whatever and like we'll just start dancing around our whole house and not it's give loud. a crap because literally you know or Carson it's our can, house <laughs> Carson can play his video games oh yeah i play my video games in the living room on the big tv and well that's our only tv but and still can, and you can <laughs> yell at the game i don't i don't i like. literally don't do that but okay you know I don't, that's why you're saying You do and you play with your brothers. Okay, maybe a little bit. We could be going to sleep, mm -hmm. trying to go to sleep, and he can play his phone as loud as he would like. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no, this morning your phone was so yeah, loud. Yeah, I never do that, though. That I was, was like, her phone was loud, and I'm, like, trying to, like, watch, like, like look at TikTok on my phone, and she's TikToking on, on her phone, and hers is so loud, I can't even hear mine. I'm like, do you mind turning it down a bit so I can hear mine? <laughs> She was tired from me talking. Okay. Yeah. And number six is always going to sleep with each other and then I put feeling safe because that's what it is different. Now, we, every single night we go to sleep with each other and it's like that safe feeling of just like, ah, <sighs> and then it's just us and then, we, you know, that's a good feeling. Do you have that every single night? Because like I struggle with nightmares sometimes and then now like I... I can't tell you my last nightmare, I don't think. There's not really a negative to it, but like sometimes, like Brielle will, you know, be like, <laughs> she says I take all the covers <laughs> and stuff like that. Yeah, because and then he... sometimes I like to sleep, like throughout the entire night, I really move a lot, I think. And I, I'm always changing positions. I went to like a class before and they said that it's good to change positions as you sleep well, yeah, you because you don't ever stuck. want to just stay in one position and like your body gets accustomed to that one side yeah. or whatever so even if it's uncomfortable like you have to sleep on your back sometimes you have to sleep on your side sometimes on your stomach sometimes like you have to alternate it and so i really do i'll like be sleeping on my left side and then I wake up and I'm like, I'll go on my back. No, the and worst. I'll go on right. No, the worst thing is when he's trying to. He just gets into bed and he's trying to get, get comfortable. Com I'm like a dog. You he ever see like dogs go like this or whatever, and I just keep going, and then they, they they get there and they like lay down, and then that's literally me. You're laughing because it's true. I cannot get. It's so hard for me to get comfortable. Like, you would think I have like a sensory issue or something. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, okay. I feel like we were on that topic for too long. Number seven. Okay, she's tired again. It's the pregnancy, guys. <laughs> All right, number seven for the third time. Um, being their number one. What that means, Brielle. <laughs> like being their number that, one. Like, yeah, like it's y'all like, now. Like that. Yeah, it's like it's. It's literally me. That's who you go to for everything. That's who you and want for everything. Yeah. That's who, like, that is your number one Instead of going to, like, mommy and daddy, we go to each other. Yeah. Right. But because, I mean, you know that when you're young. But once you find your person, like, that is it now. So, so that part's, like, different. <sighs> your hands are freaking freezing. They really are cold. Like, like part of some, like, I agree. Pretty it's easy. pretty cool. Like, when something happens exciting, you want you're, to tell you're telling each other. your wife or... Your At least helpful. first, like that's yeah. like your number one, like, okay, something's wrong, then anything. Something's positive, help. something's good. Yeah, then. you need help with something, then. Mm. Yeah. Number eight is enjoying the little talks and dates even more because you do the same thing every single day with that person. And then I wrote different scenery. And like, for me, that means like, whenever we just go take a drive and we go somewhere different, or we might like, oh, eat somewhere together or anything like that just little simple like things mm -hmm. it is like different now because we do wake up and do like the same thing you see the same thing you kind of have like the same thing going on mm -hmm. every day and so when we do like those little things they they're just like cool this is what i was gonna say is that 
I agree. I do enjoy that, but it doesn't mean that I don't enjoy literally just like, for example, like last night eating dinner with you and, no, you know, like, yes, that's I, I really do, I'm not just saying this like for the camera or just to you, like, I really do genuinely enjoy and like live in those moments every single time, like coming, like walking inside and you have like the little towel in your head because you just got the shower and I'm like, oh, yeah. that's my wife. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I, I look at every moment with you. No, that Unless goes I'm annoyed into it. That's what but I'm then, saying. No. Enjoying the little talks. <laughs> yeah. Too. What I like a lot is that exactly what you said, like just being like the little talks and stuff like that. But I like the tired again. <laughs> Literally have a yawn counter. Have a yawn counter. Seriously. That was like the seventh yawn. <laughs> I like how we have the ability to talk as loud or what or about whatever we want uh, yeah. without other ears. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, you're not worried about. And you're not worried about like, where well, if we're in some type of um, discussion, yeah. a heated discussion, disagreement. <laughs> a disagreement that we're trying to understand each other, because that can be hard at times. You don't have to worry about oh, is other people hearing this right now? Like while we're trying to like figure this out, you know? Okay. Number nine. This is kind of a negative one. I think is since we are in our tiny home and we did an open floor layout in our small house it is very hard harder than it was before believe it or not to do like little small things for each other and the reason being is because again it's like an open floor layout like it's like almost like a studio apartment right to where the beds literally right there the kitchens are right there it's all one big room with with everything having its own station. And so if like really the only place you can do it is in the bathroom. And what I mean by that is like, say you want to like leave a cute little note. So <laughs> she's yawning again. Say you want to like leave a cute little note. So when they walk in the room, they're like, oh, or whatever. That's harder to do at times mm -hmm. because there's, it's not different rooms like before. You had like my little, room, yeah, for example. Like you had your room, and like little surprises for each other. Yeah, like they're always right there. Like it's not different, like yeah. rooms to go in. I hope that makes sense. The last one that number is different, ten. Number ten is getting to decorate your house. Choose where what you want, where you want things. Build things for your house, and now with like a kid coming, choosing what they are gonna have in their stuff. Yeah, and. And that even goes with like decorating for like holidays and stuff. Like now you have your own thing. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm kind of excited to decorate yeah. for Christmas. Like, like and then like even like everything we chose in here, like the paint colors and like you mm -hmm. choose your furniture and the style you want of your home. It's all up to us. We can we yeah. can decorate this house however we want. Yeah. We can do whatever we want. I want to add to that too, like a little bit like home improvements too. Like we're still That's what I said, building. Things yeah, like building too. things because. We're still kind of adding things to the tiny home. Like now that we're in it, we're like, oh wait, we could probably add this or do that. And right now, like um, one of our projects that we're trying to do is we'll, we'll start making videos about it, but we're still like in the process of trying to figure out the best way to go about it is building, I'm pointing over here because it's going to be over here, mm -hmm. but like by our front door, like building this, this kind of, kind of big, um, encased, encased uh, shelving, shelving cubby hole thing for our little girl to have like put her clothes in put her little toys in have like a toy yeah. chest that like sits by the window so I mean when she's old enough or even for us because to sit by the window and like yeah. I don't know with a tiny home you can't just go just buy like furniture. no we can't just go buy furniture like we need like so custom made stuff it needs to stuff. be something that is more like on the wall yeah. and not taking up a lot of space but utilizing. utilizing it in the best possible way and I think that this is gonna be a beautiful addition that's gonna be really good. But yeah, that was our top 10 things. Hello? You okay? I'm daydreaming. <laughs> that was our top 10 things that are different now that we have been married for seven months. I know. And we have a kid on the way. We, we're gonna have a kid before our one year anniversary. Literally a few days before. Well, a few, maybe like a week or two before. We don't know what to do for our one year with a kid. I'm just gonna eat our cake and be like, love you.
<laughs> I want to I wanna read our vows to each other again. Hold on one year. Okay. <laughs> that was our top 10. Let us know if you're married, if there's anything that was different for you. And different if, or if you related to anything. Yeah, if you're related to anything. And if you're not married, what do you think will change once you get married? Whenever you find that person. You want to yawn one more time? Ready? Together. That was so fake of me. <laughs> That's a real one though for you. I do yawn on spot. I'm tired. All right. That has been it. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you and enjoyed. And don't forget. And don't forget. To keep, to keep creating, creating your, your journey. journey. Oh yeah. <laughs>